to come up. They said as of now, no more direct fire and indirect fire across the river. There it goes. So we get a good assessment of everybody who's over there. Right down. Down in the lobby and the world might help and get a vehicle so that we can take the injured to the Beautiful. hospitals. Hope I got it indexed, right? Yep. Then we just continue. Just landed. Clunk. Yep, there's the grease fitting hole. Right there. Oh, they're discussing the war in Iraq. Eight years almost. A lot of troops are coming home. They need jobs. They need counseling. They need help. They need friendship. They need to be remembered. St. Vietnam. I was pretty young when Vietnam happened. There. All done. All done. A lot easier than beating on it with a hammer. Boy, crude and rude. So I've unthreaded the special tension nut and it's slightly askew and it took me 15 minutes to remove it with this special socket. It should have a dowel in the middle, like these tamper-proof torque screws, because it keeps sliding out of the groove. It's a real pain in the butt of room here. I'm going to put the new one in. Where it goes. I guess they could have left the old one in there. It's split so it can compress and it holds tension on this upper stud. You're supposed to use a torque wrench, but I'm just going to tighten it down. So I sprayed some silicone in there, clean the threads. I thread this thing back in there and put my knuckle assembly back together. And the rotor and the tie rod. Maybe I'll do the other side. Won't that be fun? The past flag garage sale a couple months ago, and this guy had top quality tools for sale. You might remember the house. He had an ATV forerunner on the top of a Ford F-250 way on the top rack. Anyways, I bought this top-of-the-line torque wrench for 30 bucks. I'm sure it's a $200 CDI torque product. I'm going to torque the bottom nut to 70 foot-pounds. Yep, there we go. 70 foot-pounds on the bottom. Then I'm going to tighten the top. If you're listening to Garrison Keeler annoying you in the background. I'm going to take that special or tooth and nut, wherever the heck it ended up. These are how things just walk away. I'm going to torque this sucker down to 70 foot-pounds as well. And that's how you pre-torque the knuckle. I've never done it that way. I just usually made it tight. <laughs> never back off. That's what it says. Ugh. I really should push down on that, but I've already pre-torqued it. Click! 70 foot-pounds! Laser etched. Yep. Seventy foot-pounds. Alright. Now I'm going to slide the axle through that slimy tube. They don't put a seal on the outside, but I guess GM is not thinking about Dana 44 or they're thinking about revolt catching fire. Every vehicle catches fire eventually. I've seen plenty of Hondas and Toyotas and Yukons. Alright, it's coming together. Next, I'm going to put some grease in there and put the washer on top and the new castellated nut. Can't even tell the old one from the new one. Actually, the new one is a bit thinner. How do you like that? Garrison Keeler, very home companion. Look at that. Sixteenth smaller. Go figure.
We'll be going to see Garrison Keillor December 20th. We're going to New York City, Connecticut, Boston. I'm going to buy some new tires for this T-Ruck. I found some 16.5s thanks to Shvriek. I can't get his name pronunciation right. I had to do some digging on tire rack. Dig, 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 and I found some 16.5s. $206, but 100 bucks shipping. Forget that. I'll go pick them up at the warehouse to say, allow me. Otherwise, I'll just retread these. Down. Whoa. 70 ain't so bad, but 100 foot pounds. Oh. Click! Oh. Click, 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 click! How many Newton meters is that? 100 foot pounds is 135 yeah. <laughs> Newton meters. Crank her down! Now, we gotta line up the Carter pit with my little blue flashlight powered by. Oh, wow. It is far away, the little hole. I gotta go way down. The hole is right there. Never back off. Never give up. Keep on cranking. Alright. Prairie Home Companion, West 42nd Street or 43rd, near Times Square. Crank her down! Click! Click! Where's that little hole? That's what you said to the sailor. Oh, a little more saxophone. I heard a great interview a couple days ago with a fellow from a oh, right into the grease. I heard a great interview with the saxophone player from Chicago. Oh boy, where did I hear it? I have no idea. I went to see him with my brother, the band Chicago, a few years ago in Vermont. Crank her down! These guys are in their 60s and 70s and let me tell you, they put on a superb performance. It had rained all day. There's videos of it. I made a video. It had rained all day at the venue, the Essex County Fairground, and there wasn't a big turnout. Outdoor concert, standing in the mud, and these guys put on a spectacular show. It was great, and listening to this interview, I wonder where I heard it. Let me think about it. I'll tell you where the interview was. It was a 20-minute interview. I think it was on WAMC.org. Yep, WAMC.org interview with, what was his name now? William, hmm, sounds like a German name, I think. I'll have to look it up. I wrote it down somewhere. Here we are. Time for the cotter pin, also known as the split pin. Right over here. I'm going to grease everything up. Uh, it's too small, the cotter pin. I think I have some bigger ones somewhere. I only have an hour and 23 minutes of memory left. The bottom one is a self-locking nut. Tie rod in. Click. 70 foot pounds. Never back off. Right in the middle. Drag her down! Make sure you grease the threads. Clean greased threads. Or maybe dry threads. Some people say you should torque things down with dry threads. I say as long as it's tight. There we go. Right in the middle. I bent over the leg of the cotter pin and I hit it with the hammer and I busted one of the legs off, but I don't think at 100 foot pounds it's ever coming loose. Oh, down here somewhere. Maybe I'll stick the old rusty one in, original, 28 years old. Still usable. Maybe I'll put it back in the tie rod hole. There. Still good. Next axle. Caliper. Rotor, spindle, and my pile of parts. Pile of parts. CDI Torque product, a snap on company. How do you like that? No wonder it's so good. I paid 35 bucks for this. Crazy, huh? I had two of them also. But didn't have enough money. Bought some chain, I bought a bench vice, big one. Yeah, thanks. Do you join?